So my name is Jeremy Francis, Fish and Lone Sergeant channel I have, and I'm part of Team Monster Bass. Hi, my name is Rick Patry, and I'm the founder of Monster Bass. All right, so, so the team came down to Dallas, and we're here for this wonderful cause. We've got Veterans Creed, which is this tremendous organization that helps first responders, veterans, nurses, and really takes them away from their busy lives and the stress of, of, of just the very nature of their jobs and takes them out onto the water, takes them hunting. And so I had this, co this conversation with Jeremy from you know, Fishing the Lone Star, and we thought, like, why not combine a meetup with Jeremy at the same time as, as the Veterans Creed event? And so, you know, we got together this morning and we were all excited and, you know, we met at the police department and, and lo and behold, they had police escort for us, which was, which was really a first because it's 6.30 in the morning and we're sitting there and there's police everywhere. And they're escorting us down the street into the, you know, into the marina where we're going to launch the boats and kayaks. Uh, now we obviously joked around because we weren't sure which guys were actually going to jail versus going to the lake, but uh, we all made it to Lake OK. They really come out here and show up for Veteran Creed outdoors and help build awareness for an awesome cause that they have. Yeah, we launched the boats on Lake Louisville, and it was this beautiful morning. The sun was coming up. The biggest thing that I noticed was just the scenery. And, and the wildlife. And it just made for this beautiful takeoff. And so this morning was absolutely gorgeous. It was really cool. And as I'm putting the kayak in the water, the shad are spawning around the trees. There's bass blowing up in them. It just gets you jacked up. It gets you ready to go. And so it was really, it was a really fun morning this morning. Now it's time to get on Lake Louisville and show you what today was all about. So my fishing day was interesting to say the least. I started off the day by catching a little one on a wacky rig. <laughs> it's my first Texas bass. Oh yes. And then didn't get a bite again until 11.45. And I figured out a little flipping pattern. I found a bunch of male bass that were garden fry. Went and did what I know how to do because back at home, there's a couple of creeks that reminded me a lot of what this lake is as a whole. I did what I know to do back at home, which is lock a flipping stick in my hand and go flip and try to catch some of these post spawn garden fish. My particular boat with Oklahoma's worst angler, we had a, a few really good ones get away, like like four plus pounders. Uh, I've got video proof of that as well. Oh. Okay, we gotta get the net next time, that's my bad. Uh, but the one we did catch uh, came in at 3.6. We had a lot of fun, weighed in some good fish, and ultimately gave away some great prizes as a part of Veterans Creed Outdoors, and with Monster Bass doing a clap out here with them today. All right, everybody else, it's over, you can't. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's what I did, and I was that close to taking it home, but unfortunately lost the last little one and came in second, but I got a kayak, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see, so the plan for tomorrow, what is it? We're gonna go fish a private lake, and I'm gonna just go crack a bunch of fish in the face is exactly what's gonna happen. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Water fishing Maloof Lake in South Dallas, where we're going to go a one boat versus one boat versus one boat challenge. But it's going to be a fun day on the water. There's going to be a ton of fish caught, a lot of jokes told, a lot of memories to be had as oh, well. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it was pulling, it was pulling line out. <laughs> Yesterday was a tough one. Today caught some big fish. Uh, we had a lot of laughs. Really great time. It's on his way. And I can't wait to do it again. And we're looking forward to coming down next year, supporting Veterans Creed because they have a, a great cause and uh, you know, getting together with the team and making memories. What I'll say about Rick and the Monster Bass team is, Monster Bass is probably one of the very first companies that actually allowed me to come on as a pro staff member. 
Now I was pretty small in nature in terms of social influence. Uh, and, and for Monster Bass and Rick particularly to say, yeah, you know, we'll give this guy a chance. We'll allow him to come on, work with us and try to grow together. I think what I really enjoy is that Rick is uh, willing and able and open to doing that with guys, gals, to be able to say, hey, look, let's find a mutually you know, beneficial agreement here where we can both work together, you know, further fishing, further teaching people and making everyone uh, a, a better angler. You know, Rick and Rafi helped to support me in ways that are invaluable because I can call them when I need to. If I have a problem, there's a solution that we can come up with together. It's really more of a family, to be honest with you. And you know, a lot of that comes from the fact that I've known Rick for dang near a decade now, and my wife works for the company. Um, and you know, it's just one big family. So that, that's, that's how Monster Bass helps me. You know, the brand to me is really special. I, I hold it near and dear to my heart. You know, when I started, the foundation of this company was gonna be the customer service. I think I have the best customer service on the planet. We try to solve problems the way that I would expect my own problems to be solved. And then secondly, it was going to be about my team, my brand ambassadors, the people that represent me, that represent this brand. And, and we really do run this like a family. Like, you know, I've known Alex Rudd. I've known him for over a decade. I, I take it really seriously. I, I don't like people coming and going. When I let you in, I'm letting you into my family because this brand is my family because ultimately at the end of the day, they're the ones that are gonna help me build the brand and I'm gonna help them achieve their goals at the same time. So to me, this is very personal. I will say I've been really impressed for Monster Bass to fly in, drive in, to do everything they've done to come here with the sole purpose and benefit is really to raise awareness for Veterans Street Outdoors and help support this organization. It's pretty cool, it means a lot. Just getting to meet people, getting to see people again, you know, building relationships. But when all these minds come together is when brilliant things start to happen. And as a content creator and as somebody in the social media world, sharing ideas with each other is so important. We've had guys drive in from Tennessee Drives, guys driving from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and of course myself, 15 minutes down the road. It's been great to learn from them, visit with them, tell a bunch of great jokes, but also even to learn from them and how they like to fish. Because that's how you really start to build what you have in a better way. You start to learn things, you start to refine things that you already knew, and being a lifelong learner is one of my trademarks. And so it's been a good weekend. No, yeah, I can't wait till we get together again. It's gonna be fun. I got to meet people that I've spoken to for years, but never really had the chance to meet in person. So I think for the guys that got an opportunity to come down here, I think it strengthened our team and really showed the relationship and the commitment between our brand ambassadors and Monster Bass as a brand.